Welcome to my channel, your tutor Mariam is here. It's the 65th video of Introductory Physics 1 and the 27th video that I'm going to talk about the laws of motion. That is the fifth subject of Introductory Physics 1. In this video, I'm going to solve another example that I find it interesting. So two uh, blocks are connected with a rope and one of them falling down. And I like to find the acceleration and the tension of the system. If you are new to the Doctory Physics one and like to learn more, hit the subscribe button and like for more. You ready? Let's get started. So here I have two blocks A and B and A is falling down and I need to find the acceleration of the system and also the tension in the steering. So I'm going to start with B. I'm going to draw the free body diagram. So here I have a normal force and then I have the mass, so it's going to be mvg. And then in the x direction, I have the tension of the rope, right? For A though, what I have is tension upward, the gravity force, so it's going to be mag. And then in the x direction, there is no forces, right? One thing I like to mention here is these two T are equal because these are the tension coming from the string, right? So these two T going to be equal. Now I'm going to write the second Newton's law for B in X axis. So for B in X axis, what I have is total F is equal to sum of the F, right? And then in the x direction, I only have t, which is equal to m b times acceleration, right? This is what I have for b in x-axis. Now, I'm going to write down the second Newton's law for a. So for a in y-axis, so pay attention, this is the x-axis, and this guy is the y-axis. So again, it's going to be the total F going to be equal to sum of the F. So that's going to be for B. This is going to be for A. It's going to be in X axis. This guy going to be in Y axis. So what I have here is going to be T minus M A G equal to M A total acceleration, right? Now, I have two equations, one and two, and two unknown parameters. One of these unknown parameters is t, the other one is acceleration, right? I need to find the acceleration for part A, this part, and then I need to find the tension for part B, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute t from equation 1 to equation 2. So it's going to be 1 in... Two. So it's going to be MBA minus MAG equal to MAA, right? Now I can find A from here. So what I'm going to do is going to be MB minus MA times A equal to m a times g right and then from that i can find the acceleration so my acceleration gonna be m a times g divided by m b minus m a right one thing i like to mention here is the way i choose the origin so I choose the origin right here at the center of the box. So that means my T going to be positive, like this direction going to be positive, and MG going to be negative. That's why I have the answer like minus. So you might find the other answer, like this one going to be positive, and this is about the way they choose the origin, and they both going to be correct. Now I know the acceleration, and I can find the tension. So I'm going to substitute the acceleration in equation 1. So in equation 1, 
what I have is tension equal to MB times A. So it's going to be MB and my acceleration is MA. G. I'm just substituting the acceleration. And then it's going to be MB minus MA. And that's going to be the answer for part B. And this is going to be the answer for part A. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you like my video, hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.